Hey, it's Candace, and I have been getting asked, you're getting messages from QuickBooks, from Intuit, and you're needing to maybe upgrade or update your QuickBooks, and you're wondering kind of like, I have a few different options, what's the best one for me? So I thought I would come on and do a live training, and I put together some slides for you, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So when you're upgrading, this is for QuickBooks desktop users specifically, if you are an online user, you automatically just kind of get the newest. There's just different versions. Um, so you may be wondering like, what do you need to know? All that details. We have been getting quite a few messages about this. So I was like, you know what? Let's do a training on it, like a mini training. So QuickBooks, traditionally the desktop version would last for basically three years. They had a discontinuation program. And after your license expired, you could keep using QuickBooks Pro let me know if, if you've been doing this, um, but you would no longer get support or payroll wouldn't work. Maybe you couldn't email your payments or bank feeds wouldn't work, but you could keep using your QuickBooks. And they rolled out some new things in 2020. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. Um, if you've wondered about this, let me know. So if you have an older version of QuickBooks, I will share with you real quick. I'll also put it in the links below. So below the video and all that, I'll add all these details. But QuickBooks has what they call a discontinuation program. And May 31st, 2021, if you're using 2018 or older, you probably start getting messages like it's time to upgrade. You get messages all the time, but it's like, this is no longer going to work. It doesn't mean none of your QuickBooks works. It means some of the features will no longer work if you have 2018 or older. Okay, so I got a message from one of you, uh, from one of our community members. They're like, I have 2014 and I'm thinking about upgrading or I have these different years. Like, how's that going to work for me? Okay, so I'll give you the link on this. It's always three years, okay, um, traditionally. Now in 2020, some things change, which we're going to talk about. Okay, so you may be wondering, like, which one's right? So in 2020, they rolled out the Pro Plus program, which basically was a subscription model. So you're basically paying for that every year, but you get some extra features with it if they're things that you want. So they have the unlimited customer service where you can call QuickBooks. People have opinions about that. We'll just leave it there. Uh, you could do more mobile receipts, which is usually an online feature, automated backups, and you also get the latest version. So usually in September, a new version of QuickBooks comes out. And so you can get the latest one. So if you're doing on plus, when the September one comes out, the 2021 version, you'll just get updated. Where in the past you bought a version and it lasted for three years. Okay. And if I say anything they have a question about, let me know that too, which is kind of exciting because you just like automatically get your updates. So this is always what the next question is. So what's like the cost difference? How does it work? So QuickBooks Desktop Pro Plus, the first year you basically can join that, it's $2.99. You can go onto websites like Costco, if you're a Costco member or Best Buy, you can scroll down and you can usually get a one year subscription for $200. So it's normally 300, you can buy it for 200. And if every year you decided you wanted to do that, you could, you could update that way if you want to. Okay, so that is the pro subscription, it gives you those extra bonuses that we were talking about, okay? You can also buy the original QuickBooks Desktop Pro, which will still technically work for three years. It's just, you pay more upfront for it, okay? So this is the first year, it's $2.99. Over the different times, the prices could will vary. What is Intuit want long-term? They want everybody on the online version. That's really what their goal is. So they're making changes and adjustments to this as their business model changes. Okay, so there are variances. This is the pricing now for disclaimer, prices always change, right? Like this is me just trying to inform you, educate you and like give you the data, but you guys, there'll be changes. So remember that just like the old pro version, after the three years, your license will expire. Technically, you can still use your QuickBooks on this, on the original pro model. You just no longer will get the support. If you want to process payroll or any of those things, like we said before, those will go away. Now with the annual subscription, if you choose to not upgrade to that, you'll no longer actually be able to even access your QuickBooks file. So it's a little more like the online, 
That's the difference. Okay. Now, if you said, okay, where can I get the original pro version? I went to into it today and I was like, Hey, how can I get that? How can we get this for them? And they were kind of like, we don't offer it anymore, but you can go to third party. So places like Best Buy for specific, I like literally look this up for you guys. This is live in this moment. You can buy it right here. Now what you're noticing is it just says QuickBooks desktop pro, and there's no plus there. Okay. So some of those functions of like mobile deposits don't work, uh, but everything else is pretty much the same and you don't get unlimited support and automated backups. Some of the features that we talked about originally, hopefully I'm explaining this clearly because I know you guys were curious about it. Okay. So the main focus that I kind of want you to think about because often people will be like, Oh, the pricing has changed or this has changed or that change. Businesses change all the time. I want you to focus on whether you choose to go online or pro consider what the benefits are of QuickBooks for your business. Okay. So for those of you are trucking companies, right? You need to know how much you are spending in fuel, how much you have in your driver costs, because you can't make business decisions without that. Or for those of you who are trying to manage and grow your business, there may be in construction. These are just some examples, but what would it be like if you didn't know what your jobs are costing you or your materials, right? Like, especially with material costs going up, at least here in California, I think it's everywhere, like lumber and all that's kind of going up. So what will this do for your business? I really want you guys to take a moment. Um, do you pull your reports? I shared a video on that earlier this week on Facebook and Instagram. I was sharing about reports and how to start really using them to manage and grow your business. Let me know if you watch that video, if not check it out. So often I, I remember I've talked to, I've talked to some of our community members about this before. I remember because sometimes people go, I'm going to switch over to desktop and then I'm going to go to online because they're just trying to figure out what's best for your business. And I remember I said, I remember doing that for mine, like not specifically for QuickBooks, but for when I was creating, starting doing trainings and creating programs. And I had a, an area where I held my trainings at. And I remember originally I bought like a more expensive program and then I went to a, a less expensive program, but it didn't really give me the features I want. Right. And then later I had to switch back over again. And if any of you have switched back and forth between accounting software, or anything, it can be a real pain. Would you agree? I'm getting thumbs up. That means you guys agree with me, right? So there's two ways to look at business. One is like, what's it costing me to run it? And the other is what am I gaining from the benefits? Right? So I just share that with you because I get messages. Not, not all of you, you may not be considering that, but for some of you, you're like, oh man, now I got, they're changing up the different functions and they hadn't done that for a long time. Yet they're also giving you new things. If anything, this is inspiring you, I hope to get in and actually use the software as it's designed to help you see what's happening with your business and keep growing it and making it even more profitable. For those of you who need to upgrade, let me know below, what are you going to use? Are you going to go with pro? Are you going to go with the pro plus, which is where it renews? Um, and you just, that's part of what you do with your business. Are you thinking about going online? I'd love to know that as well, because there is no right or wrong. It's just about getting the data you need to make decisions. If you are ready to start managing your business and growing, we're going to be doing some more live trainings next in September, beginning of September. We'll also be opening and creating trainings for confidence with QuickBooks. So if that's something you've been waiting on September, it's going to be here before you know it, I believe it's September 14th. So you can uh, register to be notified when we're in these. These are live, uh, free live trainings where we teach you how to customize QuickBooks and get started. So let me know below which version of QuickBooks are you going to use? You're going to go with pro or plus or online. What is your number one feature that you love doing with online or not online, but like with QuickBooks in general? And um, what is the one thing you want to learn for QuickBooks? Because I'm going to be doing more live training. So let me know. Um, if this was helpful for you, let me know that as well. And thank you for being here. I hope it was clear and concise. I wanted to give you all the data that you need. Remember you can buy your QuickBooks from other places, right? You can get it directly from Intuit, or if you're looking more for that QuickBooks pro where you can use it for at least three years and you own it, basically it's yours to keep. You can get that best buy, look around for third party. If you have questions, let us know. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. Bye.
I hope you enjoyed this tip. And if you'd like to receive them in your inbox so you don't miss any of them, go up above or down below and we'll send them to you directly. And if you are looking for more support with QuickBooks, check out Confidence with QuickBooks. It is our training program that takes you from A to Z to walk you through exactly how to customize and set up QuickBooks for your business. Don't forget to subscribe here so you don't miss any videos. And I look forward to seeing you inside our next tip and trick. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.